Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to part two of our little, um, I'm calling this a, well, it's an accordion style keepsake book or journal, whatever um, you want to title it. Well, this is going to be part two, and as usual, <laughs> I laid awake in bed last night thinking about the different little elements I'd like to add to it, and I have decided because you've got seven panels, I thought it would be nice to take the center one, which is this one on my journal, and I want to create a little window. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, we, what you'll need for this is some craft cardstock, and you're going to need a couple of punches, and then you're going to need some acetate sheet or packaging um, you know when you get packaging you'll, you'll get these little sheets this is quite thin it's not my favorite I would prefer some of the thin acetate but I don't have that on hand so we're gonna make do now the punches that I'm using and this I've got a one and three quarter and a one and three eighth um, that's only because that's all I've got here. If you've got the nesting dies, then you can make this little frame that I'm about to show you um, much wider than what I've had to do. But these are the only two punches I've got, guys. So I'm just trying to make do uh, with what I have and see, you know, what creative elements. I mean, these aren't new, as you know. I've used these in the past, as many ladies have done. But... Maybe you're new to this and uh, haven't seen this particular process. So, and I'm not going to claim that mine is the best way to do, go about it, but I just adapt to what I'm working with and find what works in that situation. So, that's what I'm using: one and three quarter and one and three eighth, and that will give you this very tiny frame. It'll all become very clear. Um, another thing I would suggest is, and unfortunately I've cut all of this up, so let me just grab something from my stash that I can demonstrate on. And I got something. All right, give me one second, guys. Okay, this is a little tip I want to share um, because, you know, in case you're not sure what I'm going to do, I'm going to punch a hole in this panel, which is going to then require a frame on this side and a frame on the other side to hold the plastic acetate in place, right? Alright, so, <clears throat> so that means you're going to need, um, and I'm doubling these up because they're thin, so please don't get confused about that, but what it's going to mean, if you've got, <coughs> excuse me, thick cardstock, you could just do two of these, but mine's quite thin and I want it to be a bit sturdier, so I'm going to double this up. Um, so... If you just freehand that, I think you're going to find that it's probably, they're not going to, if you just punch out, oh, let me just say this, this is only if you're having to do what I'm doing. If you're just punching out two, one for each side, then then this, just omit this step. This is just for ladies who have got this thin and they want to bulk it up. What I suggest is that you first take the smaller of the circles and punch that first and then come back in with the larger one that way you can center that because the chances are you're not going to get these exact I, I think it's very difficult to get those exact but what this does is it ensures that both of those circles are going to match up. Um, it's just something 
one of my little little things. I, I like everything to mat, to line up uh, perfectly. Um, because as I said, when you glue these together, and let me just do that quickly with these. Um, yeah, see, I can already see that one. I, I was off just slightly, but because I punched them together, they'll, they'll match up. a little heavy on the glue there but that's okay all right and I can see that one's a little bit wonky so I'll probably set that to the side um, so that's the first thing I would I would suggest is if you've got to do this just go ahead and get this out of the way and you're gonna want to um, you know do as many layers as you need to make this the thickness that you want I mean, I think I'm actually going to go for three of those because this isn't really thin. But I, I like this weight because if you're creating um, <coughs> envelopes or things within the journal, the, the really thick cardstock can be a little bit fiddly. Alright, so I'm going to take three of these. So that's my front. Um, little frame. Let's just call it a frame. A uh, glue stick might actually be better on this because it would spread it out more, but just you just have to fiddle with it and make sure you got it because otherwise you'll see on some of the edges it might try to separate. Because the other thing I want to do is kind of make this look a little bit weathered if I can. This is another little thing I've discovered, guys, because I can't. I try to find things that makes life easier. Like this, I want that spread out more. I just take my glue stick and just spread this stuff out a little bit more. And that seems to help. So we're going to just set these over now and just let that glue dry completely and that's got a nice weight now um, yeah I do that often on uh, pages if I if I do <clears throat> if I'm gluing down some paper I'll put I'll go across it with this and then I'll take the, this just to kind of smooth it out and it gives you a bit more glue I don't know maybe you shouldn't be mixing glues I don't know maybe that's what's wrong with me <laughs> I've been mixing all these glues and getting toxic fumes off of them. <laughs> okay, so I've set those to the side. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is with the small punch, you've got this acetate, and I really hope this is going to work because um, this one is a little bit dull. So what I think I'll actually do is double this up because I need two circles. Sorry, not the small punch. I need the larger one. I always, always do that. I'll, but luckily I caught myself this time. I, I would normally cut it and then realize, no, I needed the large circle. Um, so cut two of your large. See, look, it's not going to cut it. So that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Oh, no, and it's jammed. And of course, it's all live, right? This wouldn't happen off camera. All right, guys, give me a minute. I'm going to try to sort this, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just gave the punch a little tap, and that came loose. So, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've cut out, you're going to need two images to be your focal point in here, and I've cut out a couple of different butterflies because I don't know which I think I'm gonna like best so I'm just gonna play around here that one's nice but I think actually I think it needs the blue 
to, to make it stand out from this paper. So I'm going to go with the blue and I'll just put those to the side. And the other thing I'm trying to decide is where I want the placement of the circle. If I want it center or slightly up. I'm leaning towards slightly up because I thought wouldn't it be nice to have some embellishments around it. So I think I'm going to go somewhere around, around here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to punch this hole. And this is taking the small one. And I'm just going to punch this, this little block out. Make, you, make sure you've got that center on your, your little panel because it's going to be wonky if you don't. In fact, you know what I'm inclined to do? Let me just, I'm going to go ahead and draw that with a pencil to line that up. Because it, with these patterns, sometimes it can be very difficult to see where the center is. Okay, yeah, that, that's, I'm much happier about that. See, that way you can get that circle exactly where you want. Perfect. And now, don't throw that away because we can probably use that later. <clears throat> Alrighty, so before I glue, well let's go ahead and glue the little butterflies together. So cut, cut out two exact images and then glue them together and then if you need to trim off any to make sure that that's exactly even. You can do it at this point. Because again, you're not, you, you know, when you're fussy cutting, it's not going to be exact. <clears throat> There's nothing really that obvious, so I'm just going to leave it. It's, um, it's not going to be noticed. And I do want to ink up the edges slightly before I put this in. And then don't forget to, there's a little bit on the side I want to get off. Uh, don't forget to ink up the other side as well because they're both going to show through this. <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm stating the obvious, guys. I'm just kind of thinking in terms of someone who's maybe not made this, so I do apologize if it sounds like, you know. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to place that um, <clears throat> in the acetate here, and I'm going to have to put a little drop of glue just to hold that. And this part can be a little bit tricky. I'm just going to put just a couple of little dots because this will dry clear. And I'm going to center that and then the same here. Just a couple just to hold that acetate. Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm just going to trim around. I can see where I was trying to cut with that. If you have the nesting dies, you're not going to have a problem with this. I've always had trouble with these punches, but as you know, I don't have the um, die cut machine because the one I ordered would not fit <clears throat> with the standard um, size embossing folders so alright so now what's going to happen on this is you're actually going to have to put this on one side um, you could have acetate on both sides it doesn't matter um, because when you frame that it's not going to show anyways so the other thing now is let's just go ahead and get our frame 
<clears throat> on this first one and what that's going to do is allow me the opportunity to, tr to trim that up. Um, oh, before I do that, let's let me set that to the side. I want to weather these up. I've got some of this acrylic paint. I've never used this. This is from the Dollar Tree. So I've never used their paint like this before. So here it goes. Just thought it'd be kind of fun to see. We can make this wood look, make it look kind of like weathered wood is, is what I'm hoping. <laughs> Might be a little bit ambitious thinking I can do that. Oh, this is a bit watery. Hmm. It's almost, oh, that's strange. It's almost like gesso. Not a lot of, I'll just have to go over it a little bit heavier. So yeah, this is this is probably I'm probably gonna have to stop the camera guys and let this dry. That's yeah, mm, it's okay. I mean I guess you can't expect much for a dollar twenty-five, but hey, it works, so so what I'm gonna do guys is just let that dry. And then I'm going to see <clears throat> if we can make this look a little bit more weathered. Ooh, see, that's just all squirted out. Duh, should have had the cap on. There you go. See what you didn't see on camera. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, I think instead of wasting this. Like, yeah, that's really, it's, it's like gesso almost. Huh, really, really strange. Yeah, I don't know. All right, that's, we're just going to have to work with it, but no, I'm really, really surprised. That's, huh, it's almost like a gesso. Okay, guys, let me let that dry, and I'll see what we can do. Okay, guys, let's get on with this. I'm just now going to take some um, of the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Now, if <clears throat> I had my supplies, what I would do is run this through the wood look embossing folder. And then weather that more with the white. And that would give it the texture that I'm looking for, but I don't have that. So we're just going to have to do what we can do to see... I really do miss the embossing. Um, I think embossing machines are probably one of the best tools, in my opinion, um, because it can add so much to a project, and you can get them, you know, very affordable now from what they used to be. Okay, so, I mean, just a little, a little bit of ink and some paint, and you can see it just adds more depth to that, and you can just carry on with it. If you want even more, then just, you know, carry on with as much as you want. I've got some orange paint over there. I'm wondering about adding a little bit of that. Why not? Why not, right? Let's see. All right, let's see what this does. This is satin paprika. Let's just see if we add a little bit of that. It might 
kind of make it look well I just don't know let's see I've lost my light here. Just one second. <laughs> oh dear. I got my light plugged into the uh, laptop and the laptop has went dead so I apologize. <laughs> oh, it's all happening today. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a little bit on there, but you're not going to be able to see it until I get this light back on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right. Okay, guys, we have power. <laughs> I was stressing out because I thought maybe the power had been cut because we're having a lot of that, uh, unfortunately. Um, but luckily, it was just the fact that my computer died. And apparently, it won't charge if it's not, got, um, if it's not turned on. So, anyways, we've solved that issue. All right, so let's get on with this. I know you're eager to get going. So we've got that positioned in their acetate. And you can see now that it's dried, you cannot see that glue. Um, so I, what I want to do is just get this first frame positioned here. And that way I can trim off any excess now you can see there's quite a bit uh, hanging over so I'm going to have to trim this off and hope that I've got scissors that are going to be you won't have this problem if you get a clean cut on on your acetate through you know with those little dies and a thicker the best acetate is their it's called a cake wrapper and it comes on a, in a roll and that stuff is amazing to work with because it's not too thick, but it's thick enough that it will cut really nice with your dye machine. Just don't want any of this hanging over. Very difficult to see. And again, this is where the little sanding block, once that's glued, you can take that sanding block and just knock off any that's hanging off. Okay, <clears throat> so let's just get this glued down here. Okay, and now let's turn this over, and this is what the other side looks like. Now, you don't have to frame it, but I just think it looks nicer because it draws attention to it a bit more. Just going back over, there's a little bit of this come up, and I want to make sure. It's probably when I added that um, the paint was quite wet. So, Let's 
Sorry guys, one second. Oh yeah, it's all happening today, isn't it? That's Paul's alarm, and he's outside with Daisy, so he'll be making his way back any moment, I'm sure. All right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is let this have the chance to dry, and then we are going to complete this side. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is where we are. Um... I've pulled out just some little phrases that I had in my stash. These are from Angela Kerr's um, wild, um, Wildflower Collection, I'm sure. And I like it because the font is small enough that it's not going to detract from the butterfly. But, of course, you can see these are in pastels, but I'll trim around that. Okay, so the other thing I found, uh, these little leaf punches, um, while I was <laughs> traveling along, I was looking at Marketplace, and I found a, a really good deal on those punches that you saw me use for the circle, and the lady just threw these in for free, and I thought that was really sweet. So what I've done is I've taken some of the craft card stock because you know it is thin and I've just punched out various ones but I want to get these in the same tone as our frame so I'm gonna unfortunately have to drag out the paint again um, but this is how it happens sometimes doesn't it uh, so here we go I think I will try to pick up uh, at, next time I'm at Walmart I'm going to go ahead and get a, a different um, white acrylic because this is pretty I'm not I'm not very impressed with this at all so I'll pick up another one because white's really useful just to brush on yeah this is a st I mean look at it. it goes on like a glue but I'm just going to go with it and because I do want these to match the frame just to kind of blend in and then I don't know <laughs> I have no idea where where this is all heading um, but that's the fun part about it and this is so warm here this will just dry and minutes and then I'll go over it with a bit of the this orange paint I don't know it's looking like this might end up kind of an autumn I didn't intend it but I guess the colors within that are very much I mean I'm not intending to go that way but it's looking like that might be the way it's gonna it's gonna end up though but that's okay I think it'll be f kind of fun I never really get the opportunity to do seasonal journals I've done a few Christmas in the past and I did do a few of the autumn ones but not generally I, I tend to stick with just other just kind of like nature shabby chic or um, I haven't even done a lot of vintage lately it just I, I find you need more supplies for the the vintage and uh, it's not as easy to source now as it, as I was in in England with the little flea markets there we could get things from France and very reasonable <laughs> but yeah it seems very different since I got back here it's everybody seems to I don't know there it just seems like it's more expensive but I I 
attribute that to the fact that we don't have as much historical things as in Europe. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with those. Let that dry and then I'm going to age those with some um, of our inks to try to tone all this down. So I'm surprised Paul hasn't come back. It's getting pretty warm out there. All right, here's hoping. Here's hoping I can make something from this. Oh, I see him. He's carrying Daisy back. Bless her heart. She couldn't make it back. She's such a sweetie pie. <laughs> He's carrying her, and she's not light anymore. Oh. We've still got to do our cleaning duties, and it's getting later <clears throat> because we've got day trippers in. And we found in the past if we try to do it early when it's cool, um, they just come on in and track up. And so it's kind of pointless, but boy, I hate it because it, it's it just gets so hot if we leave it beyond. 10 o'clock, but got to do it, you know. It's slowing down here. <clears throat> We've only had, um, we don't have anybody checking in today. So really, once we've got the bathrooms done, it'll just be kind of walking around and making sure everybody's happy and, you know, <clears throat> doesn't, they don't need anything. We've only got three families here. So it's been much, much quieter. So I'm starting to kind of feel like it's, you know, it's winding down. And I won't lie, guys. I'm, I'm glad because it's been a fun adventure, but it's not one I would repeat in this kind of heat. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop because I can see the mister is on his way. And he is not quiet when he enters a room. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, guys, you're probably going to hear Daisy in the background. She's in now. It's getting too warm out there, so I apologize. But, um, yeah, you, you're going to hear her. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of cheesecloth in here in different places. And... This will probably, hopefully, show through under the little leaves that we add. And I'm just going to glue glue these down in different places, and then we'll add. We'll see what else we need to add to it.
And so this is what I was talking about yesterday. <clears throat> Each page, you know, will have some hangover, but I think that's really nice. Because I'm thinking, I was thinking about the closure on this. Let me zoom out. Um, and I don't know if I'm even going to bother with a closure. I'm just kind of thinking this is just going to be really pretty just to sit on my shelf um, in the studio. So that's why I'm not too worried about that. Now, if you're creating this maybe to give to somebody, you might want to be conscious of that because those things will get caught, you know. But I like it. Um, we're not done, though. I want to add one of these little sayings. And I'm, I don't know, I really like this one. How lovely the silence of growing things. I think that's really a nice little... quote to put there. And I'm just trimming off that border. It's beautiful, but it doesn't match this. And it's just another way you can make more use of your digitals. So let's just see. I want to add a little bit of ink because that um, that cheesecloth is pretty white, and I I want to tone that down a bit. And I'm just gonna do some of these edges on this. Okay, before I put that down, I just I just want to look and see if I want to add anything else because I do feel like I feel like it needs Okay, I'm going to go with that. It's I don't know. I don't know if I'm mad on those or not, but I'm just going to leave them for now. Okay, so there you can see a close-up. I don't know. I'm just trying to decide if I like those pearls or not, but I don't have any other small embellishments. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it for now. And then if I can think of something that I like better later, I can just take those off. But for now, that's, I'm just going to go with those. Um, okay, so... That's taken longer than I thought, guys. Um, I was hoping that we would get the, like, one of these pages done as well, but it's just, it just takes time, and that's, 
definitely taken longer than I thought. So, okay, so there's a close up of how that's looking, and then the back, obviously, that's how that looks, but we will get to that side uh, when we start on the back portion because I don't know what I'll do with that one. We'll, we'll, we'll work on that later. So there you go, guys. This is going to be quite a long series if I have to do each of these individual, but oh well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but I, I just want this to be um, a really fun project that, you know, I'm not stressed about how long it takes. So I hope you'll enjoy that. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about this idea, um, what you would do differently, you know, in place of maybe the pearls. That would be really nice to know if you've got some ideas on that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you here soon. Bye-bye.